Hi, my name is Jin Choi and I'm the founder of Money Geek and welcome to the ninth episode of the short course on investments. And today we're going to talk about life insurance as an investment. Now there are many different types of life insurance products out there, but you can broadly divide them into two categories. You can divide them into term insurance or whole life insurance, which are also often called permanent uh, life insurance. Term insurance is pretty straightforward. You pay an annual premium, and if something should happen to you during that time that you pay the premium, then your beneficiary receives a payout. And of course, if you stop paying the premium and if something happens to you, you don't get anything. And since your risk of dying increases as you age, your premium goes up in time as well. Whole life insurance, on the other hand, is a bit more complicated. Whole life premiums actually remain steady throughout uh, your lifetime. So let me explain how they're able to do this. In the earlier parts of your life, you pay a higher premium than you would with a term life policy. So I'm going to oversimplify things a little bit here, but essentially the insurance company takes that excess premium and invests it so that uh, later in life when term life policy would have cost more than uh, the whole life premiums, the insurance company draws on this investment to pay for it. So for example, let's say that term life policy would have cost $500 uh, this year for you. But instead, let's say that you bought a whole life policy that costs $1,500 per year. And if you do that, the insurance company takes that $1,500 and puts aside $500 to pay for the term life policy and invest the rest, so the $1,000 uh, for the future. So that uh, when you become older and term life policy would have cost $2,500 per year, the insurance company still only charges you $1,500 per year and makes up for the $1,000 shortfall by drawing from that investment that they made earlier in life. In addition, Many whole life insurance policies come with something called cash value. And this cash value increases with time and you can withdraw from them with a penalty or you can borrow from them as well. So what you're essentially doing is you're temporarily withdrawing your investments that are locked behind this life insurance policy. For these reasons, I generally think of uh, whole life insurance policies as term life insurance plus mutual fund. In fact, you can replicate this. So instead of buying whole life insurance for $1,500 this year, you can just pay for the $500 term life insurance and then you can invest the rest. So invest the other $1,000 yourself. And you can keep doing this until the time when term life insurance costs more than whole life insurance and you can start withdrawing from your investments to pay for this increase in term life insurance policy. In fact, I think this is a better way to go because you may get a better return on your investments this way. You see, it costs life insurance companies money to manage your funds, the same way it costs mutual funds money to manage your funds as well. And I've done uh, some studies on this, and it does seem as though life insurance companies return uh, the same, a similar rate of return as mutual funds do. In other words, I think you can do better. Not only that, and if you do it this way and if you need the money, you can withdraw from your investments without paying any penalties. So for these reasons, I like term life insurance better than whole life insurance. And that's what I had to say about life insurance. So let me summarize what we learned today. We learned that you can broadly uh, divide life insurance into two categories, term life and whole life insurance. Term life insurance is more or less pure insurance. So the premium that you pay goes up over the years because your chance of dying goes up over the years. On the other hand, whole life insurance premiums don't increase. And they're able to do this because whole life insurance is basically term life insurance plus mutual fund. And I personally prefer term life insurance because 
I think you can invest money better than a life insurance company would. So that's what I have for today. Again, if you liked this video, please consider sharing it with someone you know. In the next episode, I'll talk about how investments are normally taxed. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.